Hey guys, really quick before the video starts, I know some of you are just here to see the solo and uh, I tried to put it actually in this screen but it didn't work so I'm going to put the timestamp in the in the comments and you just click on that and you go straight to the solo because I know some of you just want to see that but for that I'm talking about um, how to use her, what makes her uh, from go from a really good character like the best character in the game. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy, it's in the comments, uh, just click on that and you go straight to the solo. Enjoy guys, see you guys later. Yo, what's going on today guys? And today I'm going to explain to you how Merida works. And I'm going to explain all the talents to use for her. And and I'm going to solo room uh, 19 of the Tower of Troubles using the technique on how to play her. Because um, when you play her, you, you think, oh, she's really good. Like, she gets great, she's good. But if you want to play her like the best way and how to get massive crits and crits like all the time on your specials and just how you do it you know follow this uh, like guide if you will and like tips how to do it so first of all let's go over the talents uh because i've actually been trying to solo some stuff for her and then just solo uh floor 19 of the tower of troubles and i'm gonna play the clip and i'm gonna talk over it uh what i'm gonna teach you guys now on how to use her and what i'm doing to ensure the crits and how i'm making sure that it is happening because it's actually a really cool character like she's probably the best i don't think mulan could do it so anyways so first of all you have the wrathful spirit and marita special now deals an additional 71.43 damage on a critical hit which is obviously really nice because her critical hits are what's going to do the damage so if you want to build marita in any way that will the this one, the Raffles River, always needs to be in there, 100,000%. Uh, actually, the same for the Savage Wisp. I wish I'd upgraded that one. Um, I can upgrade it, but I just can't afford to use these books at the moment. Um, but yeah, so definitely Savage Wisp and definitely Raffles Spirit. That's how, and I'm going to explain to you why I want to do that, but definitely do that because I think most of her damage does come from her critical special hits. Um, so yeah, and also Highland the Airman's base called critical hits now deal an additional 71% damage. Like obviously that's really nice too because she does crit a lot. So I mean that that's just nice to have. But um what's what's like making her special so insane is um if you do have Raffle Spirit, the 71% critical hit damage, and you have the Savage Wisp, what that does is because her core ability, if you read it, every four sh shots, Marita gains a Wisp Focus buff, granting plus 20% critical chance and guaranteeing a critical special ability for five seconds. So if you if you launch four shots and then launch your special, you're gonna get a critical hit. And like that, that that's what if you read it that that's what you get out of it and then if you have the wrathful spirit it's going to do an additional 71 percent uh damage on that critical hit but it's guaranteed so you're guaranteed going to have 71 percent more damage on that one and then with the savage wisp for every critical hit you're going to gain an extra seven percent damage for the remainder of the encounter max dex five so you can do that five times so that's 35 percent extra damage on top of that so if you have this maxed out you're going to deal an additional with both the raffle spirit and the savage wisp of another 100 percent damage on already a critical hit and with my um marita who's almost now 3k she's almost going to deal like six thousand damage in one special which is just crazy and you get that every 12 seconds so all i do is dash around dash around dash around then hit four shots activate my special and i get the crit on that so because it's guaranteed so it's so ridiculously strong and also sometimes like this is her special 300 percent extra damage uh to her current target and then you're going to get another 100 percent of your talents on top of that and you can also get a wound dealing 33.3 percent damage uh, per second for eight seconds which is like uh 240 percent extra damage just from that wound which is also crazy i th i think did I, did i do that right wait and any think with a wound dealing 33 percent damage per second for eight se yeah so that's 33 percent of her damage um for eight seconds so that's eight times the 33 percent so that's 
you know, 240%, a little bit more, but I can't be bothered to do um, any more maths, like 264 or something. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, that's just a crazy amount. She's so good for soloing stuff. Um, and now I'm going to show you guys how to solo um, or not how to solo, like how to use her properly in a solo on this floor 19. I actually did it with one character just with Merida. I just did it. It really wasn't that difficult to be honest, but um, like Merida is like a god, so or a goddess. Um, if you want to use her, this is the way to do it. Like her core ability is the best in the game. It is ridiculous how, how, oh, oh this is my Mulan how overpowered this core ability is like guaranteed um critical hits on our special ability is so strong that it's like it's the corvus glaive it's the corvus glaive of disney mirrorverse so um yeah i'm now gonna jump into the gameplay i hope you guys enjoy um so yeah i'll see you there all right guys here we are um i just have to get rid of my other characters and as you can see, I'm 5,000 below the total power that you should have. So they, they even gave me a warning, like, dude, like, what are you doing? Like, you're way too low for this. Like, are you sure you're only at 3K? I'm like, game, I don't think you realize how good you make Marita. So now, as you can see, I'm just hitting some shots. I'm not really too fussed about dealing damage right now. I'm just building her up. She gets like 20% critical chance for every four hits I land. So what I'm doing is i'm just hitting four shots uh and then dashing and then getting that wisp focus buff on the top left and then i'm launching my special because what that does is first of all it's going to crit so it's going to do massive damage and second of all if i do do that i think i'm going to launch it again now no actually i'm i don't want to waste it. i want to save it for the next room but then i actually get the buff again and a new enemy spawn so i do launch it but what that does because i just showed you the talents like if you launch her special attack and it crits you get plus seven percent damage and you can stack that five times so that's what i'm just doing now i'm just getting to my special just dancing around these enemies a bit because like guys this is the second hardest floor you can do in the game at the moment and she's just soloing in it basically without an issue like obviously i have to dex a lot but yeah i mean <laughs> characters are gonna attack you so um yeah, I'm just dancing around, I'm just building up my passive a bit, getting that wisp focus, like getting that plus attack. So here again, I get my wisp bonus of, of the four hits. So it's going to be guaranteed crit and it crits and it kills Sully because it deals like 5,500 damage, which is just, just insane. So again, uh, I mean, these enemies hit for a lot. If I get hit, it actually hurts. As you can see, I have been hit a little bit, but like she's just, she just does so much damage. So again, I'm going to hit four shots. And then I'm going to launch my special to get the plus 7% attack bonus. And it crits on both of them actually for 5,600. And I could actually get this number a lot higher. I could upgrade both of my uh, special attacks like the Wrathful Spirit where you get the 71% uh, special damage increase. I could do that and I could even do the other one as well where for each um, special uh, crit... I get plus seven percent attack, but I can even upgrade that like a couple more times. But I'm just saving my books for now because, like, for the content that is now, like, there's really no need because she's already so good. So again, um, hitting four hits, then I get that like the bonus in the top left above my character's health bar, as you can see. That's gonna stay there for five seconds, and if I launch my special deck in that five seconds, she's gonna for sure crit. So I'm gonna do one, three, four, four, get the wisp focus, launch my special. This is gonna 100% crit. It does crit, but he has some defense, that, so it doesn't do the massive damage. But uh, yeah, I do have a bleed on me, so it is actually getting a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, um, I, I've basically fully ramped her up. She's at like 100% extra critical damage so i'm just gonna have to find an opportunity to launch four shots i get my wrist focus i dash away i launch my special and this is gonna do massive damage it crits for again 5k so and it also get the bleed which is like for every second it does 33.3 percent damage uh eight seconds long so that's like 240 percent damage and bleed so she's basically a god of bleed as well so again get my wrist focus launch the special it crits both of them and there you go, soloed, like, easy peasy, like, I, I am a bit low on health, but to be fair, this was, like, my first or second time trying, but that is it, that is how I use her, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, she's insane, Corvus Glaive, Ghost, whatever you want to call her, of the Disney Mirror first, please subscribe, uh, ring that bell, like the video, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys in the next video, bye-bye.